Okay, so I'm a little blown away. Actually, I'm very blown away. This is an electron scanning beam used in TVs and monitors a long time ago uh, in Minecraft. And it is still, it is scanning. It is putting down colored blocks for the pixels. I did not write this. Oh no. The person that did is Seth Bling, who is absolutely amazing. And what he did in regular Minecraft, which is running on an emulate, um, which is running on a virtual machine called Java, uh, he's running a virtual Atari 2600. He's made a 6502 processor in Minecraft that can load cartridges uh, from the Atari 2600 and it can display them. Here's the memory. The memory is dirt blocks and stone. This is the RAM. Now, wish my, there we go. You can actually watch this blew my mind. You can watch the RAM as it refreshes. These are the memory locations. So wait, this may be the cartridge. I'm not sure. You can see the sprites. You can see the little images in the memory and this will update unless this is the cartridge this might be the cartridge yeah I'm not sure yeah this is the cartridge and this whole dirt block with the stone it's there's your zeros and ones and up here is the display he used square because Minecraft is square, even though the pixels on the TV screen are more 4x3. These are 1x1. One one. But here it is. It's like the most super slow motion you could imagine. And I'm just blown away. Just, I can't even begin to comprehend how he did this with in Minecraft it's amazing and over here he has three cartridges already loaded plus he has a thing a utility that lets you load other Atari 2600 cartridges into Minecraft playable on an emulated 2600 which is running on a virtual machine, on another emulator, on your computer. Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Donkey Kong. Here's the memory. I'm standing on memory. And this is the logic. Absolutely mind-blowing.